Hello, Libra, and welcome welcome to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Reading. So, Libra, thank you so much for joining me today. Today, we'll be doing your February 2024 Tarot Reading, where I will be covering career, money, and love, looking at what, it, what is it that you need to know and what is the possible outcome. Also giving you a heads up, too. So, Libra, first of all, I will be taking out one card for your overall February energy using the light seers and i'll also then be using the tarot of owls if you do wish to purchase your own deck that's down below in the description box if you wish to also learn and master tarot do visit fifigigitarot.com we have a master tarot course that is self-paced you can download all the videos and workbooks onto your laptop or desktop thank you so much libra for joining me for those who are new welcome my name is gigi Thank you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Fifi and I love and appreciate all of you. Thank you. So let's start. What is the big overall energy? Already, oh, that wasn't hard. We do have the Knight of Wands. This is good. So this is going to be a good month. This is all about changes, transitions, offers, opportunities. This is the second fastest moving night. So we're talking about fast movements now, fast communication, fast messages, even fast face-to-face -face meetings. So there's going to be some sort of offer coming towards you. But out of all the nights, this is a call to action. So you will be required, Libra, to respond very quickly. Do not, do not waste time. Do not think about it too much. But do take action, absolutely. So let's get started. So let's see how this resonates with your reading too. What exactly that you need to take action on? Interesting. So let's have a look at your career cards. Rest, please. Career cards for Libra, please. In the current situation, so we do have the Seven of Swords. Okay. So, Libra, you've been dealing with difficult people because this is the card of lying, stealing, and cheating. So you may have had work colleagues, for example, even customers, clients, but I am picking up more people that are working around you that don't have the best interest for you. These people, as soon as you turn around, they are either talking about you, maybe stealing your ideas or copying what you're doing. Why? Because you're talented. You're good at something. And because you're making a bit of noise, yeah, it's annoying a few people. So there are, yeah, there's definitely someone that you cannot trust in your workplace. Absolutely not. If anything, Libra, don't reveal your next move, your next intention. If you notice that there is someone asking you questions, keep your answers very vague. If you can, keep your mouth closed and keep your distance away from this person. For some of you, you may already know who this person is. You may already suspect. For others that don't know exactly, yeah, just um, be very conscious of your surroundings, the people around you. What is it that you need to know? Mm, beautiful. So we do have the Nine of Cups. So this is a wish fulfillment card. It is also the minor arcana of the star. Excellent. So there's going to be a reason for you to celebrate. There's going to be a reason for you to raise your glass and really celebrate. So this is, again, when we do see the nine of cups, it's accomplishments. It's some sort of promotion, something to be really super happy about. And again, this could be linked to this offer that's coming towards you. What is the outcome? Oh, my God. So we do have the star. Major Arcana. You've got the minor and now the major arcana of the star. This is Aquarius in it energy. So we are currently in Aquarius season. Beautiful card. So this is all about wish fulfillment. So Libra, you can pause this video and make two wishes. No, no, make three wishes. You deserve it. So the star, it's about apart from wish fulfillment, it's also about reaching a global audience. Depending in what uh type of career you're in the star is excellent for if you are in the entertainment industry if you are a dancer singer writer director 
uh, even a YouTube content creator, because the star is like being in the spotlight, but you're also reaching a large audience. Whatever it is that you're working on, yes, it's definitely going to pay off. People are going to start noticing you because you're making a bit of noise. People are turning around and seeing, oh, look, Libra, look what, look what they are doing here. So yes, things are definitely going to be going your way in terms of career. But yeah, there is a bit of jealousy here. Just be very wary who you surround yourself with. Be careful what you also reveal. And again, you don't have to reveal your next move, your next intention. But there is a reason for you to celebrate, especially with the Nine of Cups. There's like so many cups here. People are just celebrating, clapping for you because there's a reason to celebrate. And I feel like it's just it has to be this offer, definitely a huge offer that's coming towards you. And the ones do represent that fire in your valley, that 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 goose, that passion, that that energy that's like bursting out. Amazing. If we look at money, yeah, money hasn't it's been challenging money with the ten of swords, hitting rock bottom, unable to make ends meet, mismanaged money either by you or by someone but this is when you're feeling rock bottom because of course there may be unexpected expenses you may have been stabbed behind your back notice that notice that this is just above the seven of swords so mismanagement by someone that's stealing money also this is the card of betrayal and deceit yeah but what i can say also about the ten of swords and i know this card definitely speaks volume just by the picture this now rolls over to the Ace of Swords. So you will be moving on from the sorrow, from the disappointment and the letdowns. You will be moving on. If we look at what is it that you need to know? Yeah, so we do have the Eight of Cups. Moving on. The Eight of Cups shows that you're leaving a situation, people behind. So whoever maybe was managing your money or maybe the way you were handling your money, you're going to be leaving a lot of things behind. Things that no longer serve you. So exactly. So what can this be? If your money is going towards something, maybe a subscription or something that it's not serving you anything, you're going to be walking away from a lot of things, actually, because we do have the eight of cups, walking away from situations, people, just to but remember, you're flying away. In traditional tarot, you're going towards the sun, which is good. So you're leaving a lot of things behind. What is the outcome? Five of pentacles. So yeah. Five of Pentacles, yeah. Now, this card does speak volume also. So there may be a little bit of money loss. This is giving you a heads up, though. Now, Libra, there could be a bit of money loss because of, it's going towards some somewhere. It's like it's slipping. It's hemorrhaging somewhere. So we need to be very, very careful. We need to look at exactly where every penny is going, where, where it's all going here, because it's going somewhere that it's not serving you. It's not helping you in any form. So we need to stop at this very moment, get affairs into order and start to plan, forecast, budget, whatever it takes. I know it's a tedious job and I, and I know nobody likes to do it, but we have to do it here in order to improve our money situation here. If we look at love, four of wands, excellent. So in the current situation, you will be invited to some form of event. It could be a party, a wedding, a uh, christening. You're going to be invited to go somewhere, definitely. Now, usually when we do get invited to go to some form of outing, it can mean, yes, meeting someone. You may be invited to a wedding. Or for some of you, you may be getting married very, very soon if you are in a relationship. For the singles, though, definitely say yes to invitations. Get yourself out there. Go out there because... This is all about meeting people face to face. If we look at what is it that you need to know? Yep. So we do have the five of cups. You've been hurt before. Definitely. Libra, you've been disappointed. You've been left very disappointed, saddened by a situation. But look at the cups. There's happiness for you somewhere else, Libra. Stay in this, in this uh, emotional situation it's not serving you anything because of what's happened with past relationships the letdowns the disappointments and I can definitely say here with the five of cups even though you've put in 110 percent into this relationship it was still let down you had the right intentions absolutely 
You went in there with all the love, with open arms, but yet the people still disappointed you, still let you down by their behavior, by the way they acted. And yeah, you're feeling really sorry for yourself at this moment. Deep down, what is the outcome? Seven of Cups. So we do have the Seven of Cups here, choices and options. So what does this mean? Think about this, Libra. If you've been doing something the same way over and over again, and it's not giving you the best results, we need to change. So think about this. Think about your options. Think about your choices. Because you do have options. For example, you hate going to bars. Don't go to bars. Let's try something different now. Think about the things that you love to do, your hobbies, your values. We need to start getting involved with that. Now, you may be feeling very overwhelmed with emotions, maybe feeling overwhelmed with choices and options. The best thing you can do, Libra, is to ground yourself. You ground yourself and you will be able to make a choice and a decision here. Because I feel like here, you're just, there's, there's a lot of things, there's a lot of options, a lot of things to do, and you don't know which one to choose, and you're feeling that overwhelmingness. Just ground yourself. You need to start doing the things that you really want to do, not what others expect from you. You need to start doing the things that you really want to do here. And definitely say yes. Say yes to everything because there's definitely going to be lots of gatherings here, family events, face-to-face, -face, people having fun. Yeah, definitely say yes. Now this, I want to go back to this Knight of Wands. This Knight of Wands is definitely going to change something. I feel that it's highly linked to your career here. Something that you've been trying to fight for, trying and trying so much here. And I feel like wishes are going to be granted. It's like luck is on your side. It's like luck was at the right place at the right time. You just need to go with the flow here. But like I mentioned before, don't reveal everything. With money, it's, it, it is definitely time to start planning. We need to start planning and start to be in control of our own money and understand exactly where everything is going. With love here. Again, there has been disappointment. I can definitely see it. And you may be feeling overwhelmed in the sense, I don't know what to do, how to meet someone. Hmm. We need to ground ourselves. Ground ourselves and ask ourselves, what exactly is it that we really want to do? Really? And put ourselves first. And definitely say yes to invitations and gatherings. Thank you so much, Libra, for joining me. I wish you a beautiful month. And I will see you at the next reading. Bye for now.